Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Alice Madness Returns. Real quick, I did this sort of at the end of the last installment, but I'm just going to play around with, uh, yeah. I'm going to lower the physics to low. I guess you can't do it during the actual gameplay. Gamma I will increase a little bit. Now I can properly see that spade over there. With the physics low, that will probably greatly help me, because... Well, you saw the end of the last installment, we were getting screwed over. When I look back at the recording, it I'll admit, it looked better than I thought, but that very, very last part, that, oh god, that was game-breaking. So let's see if we didn't improve our situation, shall we? Collect heat to upgrade weapons, I know, I know. Thank you for the update, though. We're shrinking violets grow. Even I can't read that quickly. Oh, good, it did start me with these guys. I was kind of worried about that. Well... Now, I don't know if this is just because I'm far away, but I'm getting no lag at all. There's no... Up. I gotta get used to pressing left shift. See, with me... Hey. There's, like, no lag at all. I might have hit the gold mine. The, the gold mine. I might have hit a gold mine. I might have hit the jackpot. Holy crap. We might be in luck, folks. Maybe I could do this Let's Play after all. In all seriousness, at the end of the last installment, I obviously hadn't uploaded anything yet, this is still, like, while I'm recording this, I still have yet to upload the sixth part of Guitar Room Man. So that's how early I record these things, when I can. But my point... Alright, seriously. But my point is that, at, at the end of the previous installment, it was getting to, like, game crippling... There it is. Game crippling graphics. Or game crippling lag, that is. And, uh... And I, I was seriously wondering if I was going to make an announcement, like, sorry guys, like... Christ. Gather these pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gates. Hollow... Yvy... Yvy's... Yvy... My friends can use trappers at... Alright. I have no clue what you're talking about. But what I was saying was, I was seriously considering saying, sorry guys, I can't do the Alice Let's Play, here's... the first installment, for those of you who want to see that. Uh, Vorpal Blade... Yeah, I want to upgrade that for sure. You can only go up to level 3 in this, uh, in this game. The thing is, uh, apparently you can go up to level 4 with that pre-purchased upgrade, which I did not have the opportunity to get. But yeah, it looks like I might be able to do this Let's Play after all. It was the Physex that was... ...mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Hmm. You know it's not his epitaph. He's too cool to go. But before I get interrupted yet again, basically what I'm trying to say is that, um... I didn't know if this Let's Play was going to end up working out. It looks like it might. I can move around freely. And things... the graphics still look crisp enough. So I can't complain. Now can I, I... can I get up here with the basic jump? Probably not. Nah, not quite high enough. Well, I'll still fall this. There we go! I can switch weapons now! God damn! I've been waiting for that for the last installment. Alright, this is... Things are really picking up. Although, this is an invisible wall. I'm very surprised to see an invisible wall in freaking Alice. Look at this. I'm holding left and the camera's rotating because I can't actually move. Oh, oh, there's the little mushroom. I almost missed it. Turn the volume a little bit. There. Oh, now we're really cooking with gas. Or with pepper. What? No. 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 Bad. Bad. Give me my Vorpal Blade. Give me my Vorpal Blade back. I want my Vorpal Blade. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't want to be able to have to upgrade my thing to be able to switch back to the Vorpal Blade. This is killing me. Whatever. I've got more teeth to collect. I do want every tooth I can get. This stuff's expensive. Alright, now. Let's step on the fungus among us. Oh, a memory. No, a bottle. I still don't know what those do. Oops. There we go. Seriously, I'm pressing, like, every damn button here. Huh? 
No. I'm just going through the letters on the keyboard here. One second. It looks like she. Whoops. It looks like she simply puts away the grinder at an appropriate time. There's. I don't see how I can. Switch. No way. No way. After all that, you can use the number keys to switch weapons? Oh, thank God. I was afraid. Oh, that. Oh, good. Because there was no mention of this. It just said, oh, use the mouse scroller. If I had known it was numerically assigned the whole time, I would have had a much better time. Now, let's see. What does that say? I can't actually read that. And I don't think I could go to first person mode. T? L oh, looking glass. Railway? Cute. I love this Vorpal Knife. It's so bad. Alright. Now I guess I'll just hop over to the railway. The broken railway. It looks like I'm taking more paths with shrooms! Ah, oh, I was trying to combo land on the next uh, mushroom. Cool that you don't actually have to turn around when you're messing around in midair. By the way, one thing I will say regarding the pepper grinder, it's kind of nice to have an aiming reticle, but I gotta admit, I like the first game's aiming system better, where I could look around to my heart's content, and the little blue dot in the center of the screen was my aimer. This is kind of awkward, I can't move right during this. And actually, why am I even taking out that grinder? Why don't I just run over these things and cut them up? There we go! Oh jeez, this place is going to hell. So far though, it's still nowhere near as bad as the first uh, Wonderland, but then again, I'm still at the beginning of the game, so we'll just see what happens. Can I... there we go. I got a Vorpal Blade, I got a Vorpal Blade, I got a Vorpal Blade, hey, hey, hey! I also like how she drags this blue trail behind her. Nothing behind me. Oh, wait a minute! Just checking. Oh, there was some stuff on that rock wall, though. Oop. A little bit of lag, but no big deal. Put the knife in the little impy thing. I wonder if the little imp thing is like that guy from those those little guys from the previous game. I gotta admit, I wasn't sure why they were there. And my my my, that's a lot of teapots. So are we in uh, Mad Hatterland, March Hareland, Dormouse Land? I sure hope that the March Hare and the Dormouse are doing better than they were in the first game. They, oh man, their life sucked in the first game. Uh oh. The hell are you? A teapot? Madcap? With a fork? Alright, let's do this. Wow. God damn. Blood and gore indeed. I noticed that their body parts and their blood disappear after I kill them. I wonder if that's just how these enemies work, or I wonder if that's because I lowered the physics. Because if you recall, in the previous installments, the parts of the enemies just stayed behind all day. Uh oh, this one's got a shield. Heh. <laughs> Alice get Oh, can you? I didn't know after the last two times you told me. You jerk! Oh, whoops. Ah! So that's your game. Fine. There we go. Simple dodge and counter attack. You think you're hot, but you're not. I'd rather do, like, the uh, disappearing animation. Before I go anywhere, I'll check down here. This game does have a disturbing amount of invisible walls. The first game didn't have that. Like, you knew you couldn't go any further if you ran up against a wall. Also, my mouse pointer's still here. What's up with that? There we go. This looks really cool. Oh, no. I gotta be a little more careful with my uh, left-clicking antics. Oh, they got a cog in their head! Perhaps this is the Mad Hatter's work after all. Alright, let me just move the mouse pointer off the screen. 
That ought to do it. Oop! There's a little shield man coming from behind. Dude, go away. There we go. Oh! Oh, what is this skill? This raw talent! Oh, and he dropped the rose, too. Now what? Okay, good. That's kind of high up. But we'll see where this takes us. I want to break, like, every single thing here, but I don't think they're breakable. Oh, well. So there's the mushroom. We'll see if there's anything else around. Oh! The hell? No way! I didn't know you could do that! Look at that. Go in the spore, nothing. Shrink, they eat you, and then you bust out. That's really cool! Oh, I could get used to this. Oh my goodness, that is so awesome. Still no going in there? No? That's really cool. Huh? Uh... Ugh. Wait a second! That's one of those rolling robots in the Mad Hatter's level! Forget the skeleton, those those goddamn annoying robots that shoot those homing things at you. It's just a dead one here, and apparently the whole time they weren't robots at all, but rather suits of armors manned by little men. That's... creepy as hell. What a revelation. That's really cool. I don't think I could do anything with it, but I'll try. That's that's a really cool throw reference to the first game. That's really sweet. Okay, well, mushroom time. Now again with the invisible walls. The S domain. I don't even know what that means. Although I do see little moving things up ahead, so I guess I'll have to kill some stuff. Thanks. I know. So, about that shrink. There's no enemies here, so I'll just go ahead and destroy these things. And apparently we got invisible walkways, too. Apparently you just know everything when you're shrunk. Now what's this? Oh, that's cool. Can I actually just walk? Wow. Well, we see something? Okay, it is Indiana Jones stuff. It's not like shrinking actually makes the path literally spawn into existence. But there's also this. Whoa, hello. Gross. Well, let's see. Hello, it's a gold bottle? What do those do? Well, it looks like I just straight up found a secret area, so I'm happy. Okay, back to the uh, walkway, I guess. Oh, what was that? Mad Hatter and Skull that way? Sounds tempting. Let's do it. And what does that thing say? Just plain Skull and just plain Mad Hatter. Alright. Whoa. And what be this? This time is actually a memory. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. Uh, uh. Once again, this damn mouse, man, is killing me. Alright. Yeah, I can still move the mouse around. I don't understand that. Oh well. Just pay it no no mind. And yes, I see the pigs now. One moment, throw for the Whoa. Got lucky with that one. Disgusting black goop. I guess there's gonna be more of those enemies in here. Nope. Alright, pig snout. Hold on, I saw that. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm gonna like this place. Humble as it may be, there's no place like home. Now, about you. Perfect. 
secret area away. Uh, all right. Ooh, a picnic basket and teapots. Short and stout. Here is no. I destroyed them already. Oh, nice. I loves me some gold teeth. Okay, you get three little boosts. You can't go any more than that. I guess that'd be breaking the game. <laughs> Let's see. Up here. Can I break this? Nope. But even the light's a teapot. Nice touch. Man, say what you about the invisible walls. he has got some beautiful design choices. I, d I just really wish I could go first person mode. Actual first person mode in this place. So much I would look at. And what is this? The best funnel in the world? A cable car! Oh yeah, I trust my life in that. I see nothing unsafe about this situation. Then again, if the Mad Hatter made it, then it probably actually does work very well. Hatter Industries! Oh boy! Ha! <laughs> Hatter's Domain. I cannot Hatter's wait. Domain. Almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. This cat's bigger than before. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Weird Find bird. the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far. This is creepy. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if Alice Look at this. Wait. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. I really like this cat. Oh! Ah! Not the bees! Not the clockwork bees! They're in my cable car! <laughs> Whoa! Different dress! Holy crap! That looks really awesome. Graceful entrances? Oh, I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Except the wall. The double layered wall, it seems. Oh no, not stuff like this. Well, let's see. Turn valves to activate vents. While on the vent, you can rotate Alice. Well, alright, it's just those little gas burster things from the uh, previous game, except they have to turn them on. Also, you liking that dress, man? That's pretty awesome. It's all gothed up, but kind of mechanized. You can see the bow a little bit, it looks a little steampunk. Man, would you look at this place? And I could still shrink to my heart's content. Let's see if it's still the same thing as the first game. Yes, it is. And I can even kind of hop off the vent. Lizzie, remember when a burst of steam blew your dress up around your neck? Just outside Harrods, it was. Fortunate your undergarments had been laundered. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess we'll be having that issue all the time in this game, or at least in this level. And yeah, I, I keep shrinking just so I can look around. It's not like I'm just randomly doing that. I just want to see if there's anything on the walls. Also, this is beautiful. Again, you can tell that there's a little bit of a graphical decline, but uh, hey, if it makes the game playable, <laughs> I'm not going to complain. It still looks great. Oh, hello. So I'm pressing C now and not enter. What a strange choice. Great, so that's how it's gonna be. Wow, look at the hair! With the wind. That's really cool. Alright, so I can turn as I please. We knew this. Oh, I'm not making this. And then I died! I do like how it starts you right back where you were. Because I get the feeling I'm going to suck at this. Oh, duh. Just go straight in front of me. Alright, alright. Just keep 
your teeth on the platform and we'll be cool. Bye bye Now, the question is, can I simply hop up there, or do I need that... No, I need the steam vent to go the other way, so I will try hopping up here. Sweet. And there's even a clue on the floor. For a bottle labeled Alice, go this way. Oh! Moving invisible platforms. Oh, jeez. And no, I cannot jump while shrunk. 